Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's video I'll be showing my new release comic book pickups from local comic book shops for the week of what I believe is May 11th 2022. To get us started from Vault Comics here is the second issue of West of Sundown with this really cool cover. Next up from Behemoth is Heavy Metal Drummer. I think this is issue number four, but they do not print that anywhere on the issue or the back. So I'm going to go with four, but I could be completely wrong. Next up, also a behemoth book that's small. Here is Blind Alley, issue number one. From Archie Comics, we have Archie Meets Riverdale, number one. So the Archie Comics world, I guess, is going to intersect with the uh, CW Riverdale characters. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have Vampirella Bloodlust. I'm guessing this is like a reprint. Sorry, that's my dog in the background being very excited because he wants to go outside. Uh, either way, this is Vampirella Bloodlust. James Robinson and Joe Jusco. That's some artwork from 96, so I'm guessing that's a reprint. Uh, here's from IDW Comics is G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, issue 292. Next up from Mad Cave is Nottingham, issue number seven. From Fantagraphics, here is the very, very weird Red Room trigger warnings, issue number three. Uh, from Opus Comics. Here is the regular A cover to Frank Vizetta's Death Dealer number one. Pretty cool cover. Over to Dark Horse. Here's Tales from Harrow County number one. Maybe volume two number one, I think. Also from Dark Horse is Avatar Adapt or Die number one. Won't share my feelings on Avatar, I'll just uh, show the book. Here is from Boom Studios, is Mighty Morphin, issue number 19. And then we've got a few covers here from Boom Studios of Grim number one. This is this cover, it's a foil cover. Um, it's just the foil variant. I don't know if you can see it too well with the uh, glare on there, but that's it. This is also a foil variant. This is a 1 in 25 uh, incentive. It looks to be by Ginny Frizen, I'm sure. Again, hard to see there, but it's there. Here is the regular cover. And then I also picked up this Reveal variant. Over to Image Comics, here's Noctera, issue number 10. Really like that cover a lot, it's very cool. And I've got issue number one of 8 Billion Genies. This is uh, the Famous Genies variant edition. I can't think of that actor's name. Is it Ray, Ray Liotta? That's who it looks like. I don't know. Looks like Ray Liotta. That's who I'm going with. This is a 1 in 10 incentive. And here is this cover, which is... This is the A cover. And this is the C cover. A really interesting sounding book. I haven't read it yet, but it's like if every person on earth had a genie, um, they all got one wish. So, sounds fun. Uh, from Image Comics, uh, here is uh, the Spawn Universe. This is issue number five of Scorched. It's the Todd McFarlane B variant. And here is Spawn issue 329. Over to DC, here's Wonder Woman 787. This is the B variant by John Boyne Myers. 
Got Superman, Son of Cal L, issue number 11. Here's a book I was really, really stoked about. This is the Jurassic League number one. This is the one in 25 incentive cover. Sounds like a really fun book. Um, also grabbed a copy of the regular cover with the uh, Triceratops Wonder Woman and whatnot. Got Sandman Universe Nightmare Country issue number two. And over to Marvel, here is Hulk vs. Thor, Banner of War, Part 1, Alpha Issue. Got King Conan, Issue Number 4, here is the Variant. And I've also got the regular cover here. Got the regular A cover for Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, Number 1. I think it's a Bill St. Cabbage cover. Yeah, it is. And then I grabbed a few of the B variants as well. Cool cover there. And we've also got X-Men issue number 11. Those are all my new release comic books. Uh, but I do have some back issues and stuff to go through as well. Um, but to get us started on that, just a fun little thing that uh, I got. This is the AMC um, popcorn bucket holder for Doctor Strange 2, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So just a cool little thing. I always try to get these when I can. Actually, a friend got me this one, so Thank you so much to them. That was really awesome. Um, I have the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 that came out with Ghostbusters Afterlife. And now I've got this. So that's really cool. Really excited to have that. Um, and some back issues that came in. Here is uh, Captain Carter number one, the 1 in 25 animation variant. Got Moon Knight issue number 24. This really great Bill St. Cabbage cover. Here is the 1 in 25 by, I don't know the artist's name, um, for Thor issue 24. Got the Red Room Trigger Warnings issue number 2 uh, incentive cover. A Peanuts homage. Here is a copy of the B cover for Catwoman issue 42, which is by Jenny Frizen. Got the 1 in 50 variant, uh, incentive variant for Bloodstained Teeth number 1. Also, I think this is the 1 in 25 for uh, Cancelled, number one. And then, of course, I've got this book that I can't say the name of, uh, but I'm going to go with Vermilion, because that's what it looks like it says, and also that cover. I had a couple of these already, but some more came in the mail. Also got a copy of Sandman, issue number four, that first appearance of Lucifer Moonstar, uh, and a slabbed copy, 7.5. Really great cover, so excited to have that. Sorry, I'm in the cover there, but, but you know, without me, that's the cover. And I also got the Toy Biz uh, second printing, so a reprint that came with the Scarlet Spider uh, action figure, um, I guess in 2001, uh, of Web of Spider-Man 118. And a 94, so excited to have that as well. And that's what I got this week, guys. Please let me know in the comments below what you picked up. Let me know if I missed out on anything super awesome. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in, subscribing, checking out the video, leaving a comment. 
Uh, I'll do my plug here. If you guys like movies and you like hearing people talk about movies, me and a friend named Jer do a podcast called Real Good Movies. That's real, R-E-E-L, Good Movies with Jer and Dan. You can find it anywhere you can find podcasts. If you guys could, please give an episode a listen. Uh, subscribe if you can. Leave an iTunes review, whatever you do with podcasts, um, but I would greatly appreciate it if you guys feel like checking that out, and thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.